He was born on George Washington's birthday. Yeah, 222, 68. 68, yeah. Where a lot of good people come from, St. Paul. February 22nd. The nation may honor the birth of Washington, but in Bemidji, this day is special for a different kind of George. I know there's a lot of nicknames for him. We just all called him Big George. Palawa, baby boy, Big George. Weighing in at 10 pounds, 14 ounces, he entered this world as a force to be reckoned with. Grand, not only in athleticism, but also in attitude. He was just a flamboyant character. He just very outgoing. His presence kind of just dominated the room. Not just his stature, but just his overall personality. Here's the rink that they always skated in, and there's Frank and Joe and George. George Palawa grew up roaming the range in and around Bemidji, the self-proclaimed birthplace of Paul Bunyan. It seems only fitting that this area would also produce a legendary hockey player from humble beginnings. They say you're laid on your feet. It was kind of that way. Maybe that was the start of it that he is, could move pretty good. What started out as moving pretty good matured into a mythical-like skill set for this all-around athlete. He was a great football player in baseball. He was first baseman and, you know, just his reach and his power at the plate. I just remember watching it in moon balls, you know, going on top of the junior high high school there when we played there. It was just incredible. While George's incredible talent was evident on many stages, it was the hockey rink where the great number eight really captured the spotlight. I think when he was out on the ice, he gave everything he had. The right out in front, shot to go! He was very competitive, though, too. Oh, well, like some of those articles, they call him the gentle giant. 1986, George's senior year was a whirlwind. He tallied 55 points, a new single season scoring record for Bemidji High School, and was named Minnesota's Mr. Hockey. And that was April of 1986 when he was at school. The pioneer came and took his picture there. He also committed to the University of North Dakota, and in June of that same year, was selected in the first round of the NHL draft. And this is when George was drafted by Calgary Flame. At 6'3", 245 pounds, high school senior George Palawa would have been one of the biggest players in the NHL. Bemidji's hockey hero was indeed larger than life. August 30th, 1986, a Labor Day that turned into sorrow. Yeah, it was tough. I was actually with them that night a little bit. Every day, you know, Frank and Winnie. I'm sorry. <laughs> Only a few months after he was drafted, George was killed in a car accident. He had just returned to Bemidji from moving his things into a dorm room at North Dakota. We think of the lost future. We have to think of his wonderful past. And it didn't take the future to make somebody out of George Palawa. He already was a somebody here. These are our seats. Best seats in the house, right behind the goalie. Over 30 years after the passing of their son, Frank and Winnie Palawa continue to support youth hockey in the Bemidji area. This is really good hockey. They're giving all they have at this age. The Palawas are also giving in the name of Big George. The George Palawa Scholarship Foundation began when the Calgary Flames donated money annually after his death. As a memorial, each year a local Bemidji High School student would receive financial aid to attend college in memory of George. But in 2007, this ongoing donation came to an end. Well, after 20 years, that supposed to be run out, so we just had uh, to do it each year. I think around 2009, we formed a group, Friends of George, and we just decided that Frank and Winnie shouldn't have to do that. Frank and Winnie Palawa hold their memories of George close. And now, with the help of the Friends of George, who assist in raising money, they continue to fund the scholarship foundation in his name. It's a way to ensure that his legacy lives on through future generations. I think of George more as a friend than a hockey player, and that's what he was. He played baseball, he played football, and he played hockey, and he went ice fishing. That's George. He was just friends with everybody. The baby born on Washington's birthday will always be Bemidji's shining star, 
But like Paul Bunyan, the legend of Big George is a treasure tale that extends beyond its borders. It is overwhelming sometimes. When you're in another town, down by the seas, and you say you're from Bemidji, and they'll bring up George's name. And you're not even at a hockey game. So, yeah, it's amazing.